In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a few chart analyses to get ourselves prepared for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. So if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional where I teach you how to trade forex from scratch or teach you some advanced stuff with price action and market structure and all that, check out our forex trading course on Udemy. I have the link attached in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is a go chart on a 4 hours time frame, real quick. Um, if you zoom out a little, you would find out we're in a bullish trend, right? So this is a bullish trend on gold and this area here is marked as our all-time high. So I'm going to go to the daily time frame real quick. So I'll just show you what that is. So, you know, we had a double top where we had uh, two price rejections from the all-time high on gold and we seem to be approaching those levels again. So that being said, I'm going to go down to the lower time frame as low as one hour to see if we can spot that good trade opportunities for the week ahead. So this is our symmetrical triangle where we had our solid bullish breakouts, you know, uh, with the bulls gearing towards pushing the price of gold to the all-time highs. But uh, for some reason, we got stopped out, right? So what I'll be watching out for to go long on gold will be waiting for a continuation of this current consolidation. So you can see this whole area here is a bullish consolidation after this bullish breakout. So I'm going to wait for something like this. So I'm going to wait for a consolidation like this, followed by another bullish breakout, same price higher for me to go long on gold. So to get a better entry or a tighter, you know, risk to reward ratio, I'm simply going to take a trend line like this. Okay, so I'm going to take these highs and wait for price to, you know, break above this trend line, taking out this second high. So I'm going to wait for price to take out this high. Then that will be my signal to go long. So something like this. So a touch, a small consideration, a breakout from this highs. So this will be my signal to go long. So I'm going to go long above this level. And my stop loss is going to be below these um, lows here. Where my target is going to be around the all-time high. So if you take a look at this uh, major price movement. So this is going to be around. So let's see we get a breakout around this place. Then that will be around 300 pips profits why stop loss is just going to be around 200 pips as the case may be so i know that's not uh, what most traders pay for day traders because that's somewhat um some sort of a, a wider stop loss but that's how it works for me so depending on the kind of consolidation we get before the breakout that would determine where my stop loss would be so let's say if we get a consolidation like this the entry is going to be here and my stop loss is going to be around 80 pips where my uh, take profit is going to be around 300 pips at the all time high so that's it briefly for gold and something to pay attention to is that we have an area of value here okay so there's a good chance that gold might go to the opposite direction i know everybody looks uh to the bullish case scenario for gold but there's a good chance we might see some sort of price reversal to the downside of gold before we you know click the all time high and i'm going to show you that as we move on with this video so stay along if you love the content like and subscribe right so for me to go short right for me to go short i'm going to wait for price to excuse me i'm going to wait for us to break below this area of value retest it as um a resistance level then get a bullish consolidation a, sorry a bearish cons consolidation a bearish breakout to go short so this will be the bearish case scenario for gold because i really think there's a good chance we go you know lower before we head higher and i'm going to show you that as we move on with the video and my target right is going to be around these price levels where we had our multiple price rejections before we had the first bullish move so i'm going to get rid of some of these lines to make this a little bit clearer so i'm taking this area of value because this was our previous high before this massive breakout so if we break below this area of value so which is this resistance level right now excuse me if we break below this level then i'm going to wait for a retest a consolidation and a bearish breakout to go short targeting this area of value where i'm going to look forward to opening bad trade positions aiming for the all-time high so this i'm going to play good and if we indeed get a consolidation and a bullish breakout at these price levels without breaking below here so i'm going to use a very small trade position so a very small risk to open a trade here aiming for the all-time highs because there's a good chance we fall below this area of value aiming for this um support level here before we go higher right so Remember what I said in our group, you have to watch out for premium price levels. So if the price is too high 
where you feel you know um we are far away from an area of value then there's no need taking the straight so the only reason why i'm going to consider opening a buy share at this price level is because we are currently retesting this area of value where we had this massive breakout from right so that's the reason why i would cons consider going long at the break of this level other than that i will just wait for us to get to much better levels before going long but if you intend going short, then um, your scenario to go short will be waiting for price to break below this area of value, consolidate underneath it and get a bearish breakout to aim for these support levels here. So that's it briefly for gold. Moving on, we're going to take a look at GBP USD. So this is also a very good chart. So let's see what we have here. So this is a four hour chart on the GBP USD um, chart, right? So this is a price action on GBP USD four hours chart. You can see we had price ranging within this price level right between this resistance level and this support level at this price level we had a fake out so this also signifies that this breakout here could also become a fake out right so this could become a bullish fake out just as we had a you know uh, bearish fake out here okay so the reason why i'm saying this is because this is price action for you so what happened in the past is likely to happen in the future so this gives us enough information to prepare and plan our trades accordingly right so to go long on gbp usd i'm going to watch out for something like this so i'm going to watch out for a bullish reversal right because we are currently sitting at, a, at an area of value currently retesting the level at which we had our bullish breakout from so i'm going to wait for a bullish reversal a small consolidation and then a bullish break out of the upside so this will be my scenario to go long for gbp usd because on the four hours time frame you can see clearly at this area of value we can see a, a doji okay so this is a doji a reversal candle forming at this area of value where we had our massive bullish breakout so this is going to be my scenario to go long so i'm going to wait for a reversal so a bullish reversal a small consolidation and a breakout from that consolidation to go long aiming for you know higher price levels so i'm just going to trail my uh trade as we move higher why because like i said um last week if you go to the daily time frame so uh this is a very good range so opening a excuse me i'm gonna get rid of this so going for a long position here yeah, so your first target is probably gonna be around these levels so I'm going to mark this out on the chart. So your first target is going to be around these levels. Then second target is going to be around this level. That's if we continue to go higher. So this is my bullish case scenario for GBB USD. If we indeed get that bullish trend coming into the market on Monday or Tuesday or within a week as the case may be. So for a bearish case scenario, remember I like to take a look at both the bearish and the bullish case scenario. So for the bearish case scenario, I'm simply going to wait for price to fall back below this area of value and also break this trend line for me to get a confirmation that we might be coming lower to retest this area of value or this one before going higher right so it's going to be something like this so i'm going to wait for a breakout below the area of value and below this trend line i'm going to wait for a retest as well or a bearish continuation pattern and a breakout from that pattern to go lower so this is going to be a bearish case scenario for gbb usd which will send price all the way to this uh, lows here so first target is going to be around these lows while second target is going to be around this area of value and if we break this area of value then we might be coming as low as these levels here so this is what i'm going to watch out when a bearish case scenario for gbb usd while for the bullish case i'm going to repeat one repeat once more i'm going to wait for that bullish bounce of this level a good consolidation and a break from that consolidation to go long so i'm going to try as much as possible to follow up this chart on our discord as you know the trade evolves as the price action evolves so if you are not on our discord check out a link in the description below to join our discord right it's free and you're going to learn a lot you're going to get some interesting conversation with professional traders within our community so moving on i'm going to take a look at AUD USD. this was requested by our community members on discord so i said something on our discord about me feeling both bullish and bearish on AUD USD, and i'm going to explain what i mean so from a technical perspective on the four hours time frame AUD USD looks bearish right because clearly we had a bearish dump we had a uh, bearish continuation pattern with a bearish flag i'm gonna zoom in a little so we had this bearish flag and we had a bearish breakout which sent price all the way downwards and now we are having even a bigger 
you know, bearish flag. So this um, technical analysis is so good that there's a, let's say, 80% probability that AUDS is going to fall below to this area of value. So I'm going to uh, zoom out a little so we'll see where this is an area of value. So you can see uh, this is where we had our first massive breakout from where we had uh, bullish price reversals. And now there's a good chance price comes back into this level to use this level as a support level, right? Because it acted as a resistance before. And if it uses this place as a support level, bouncing to the upside, then this would be known as a flip zone, right? So there's going to be a ton of um, demand at these price levels. So now the reason why I say um, AUDUSD also looks bullish, so I just explained my bearish case scenario for AUDUSD. So my bullish case scenario is that if the DXY loses strength, right, and gold tends to be bullish, then I expect AUD USD to be bullish, just as I expect GBB USD to be bullish. So if um, currency pair correlation is going to play according to how it should, then you can expect AUD USD, GBB USD, Euro USD, and gold to move in the same direction, or at least at the same pace in the same direction. So if I'm expecting gold to be bullish, then AUD USD should also be bullish, or GBB USD should be bullish. But seeing these sort of technicals on AUD USD which gives us a strong signal to go short. So this creates a conflict within my you know, analysis, trying to decide if uh, it's, it's a good uh, decision to go short or we have to just wait to see what the market does to go long. Because if we jump into a set position when we get a breakout, this might simply turn to a fake out with a bullish price reversal if um, currency pair correlation is gonna play a major role within these currency pairs, right? So the caveat here is that we might get a you know um disassociation from currency pair correlation whereby AUD USD could be the uh, sorry AUD yeah in AUD USD so AUD could be the major mover in this currency pair which uh, which will lead the price downwards even if gold is bullish right so that's something to pay attention to so if AUD is the major mover in this in this currency pair AUD USD then it's not going to matter what the US dollar does then um, AUD USD is just going to move according to technicals. But if the market is going to obey and respect currency pair correlations and the DXY or the US dollar is the major mover of the market, then I expect you know AUD USD to move in the same direction as gold. So that's the reason why I said on our Discord that AUD USD looks bearish and bullish at the same time, right? So that being said, following technicals, I wouldn't be going long at these price levels, right? So I'm. Only going to consider going short. I'm going to show you why. So going down to lower time frame, let's say the two hours time frame for example. Here I'm going to pick my trade entry. I'm simply going to wait for price to take out these lows. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to check this out really quick. So I'm going to wait for price to take out these lows. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for price to take out these lows before I consider going short on AUD USD. So something like this. So if we get a you know price consolidation around this level like we currently have, and we get a bearish breakout from this level, then that would be my signal to go short, targeting this area of value here where I'm going to look for opportunities to go long, right? So we're also going to take a look at DXY to see uh, where the dollar stands in order for us to make um, accurate assessments with our trades before going long or going short. With this currency pairs right so this is how i'm going to trade AUD USD. so i'm not just going to go long here because i have a bullish bias on good so i'm going to wait for a consolidation around these price levels a bearish break from this consolidation which will send price to this area of value so if we get this breakout i'm going to go short aiming for these price levels but i'm going to go uh, short with a very minimal risk then if you come into this level then i'm going to go into a long position with heavy trade size because this is going to give me a very tight stop loss, right? So my stop loss is going to be below the area of value where we aim for higher prices. That's indeed if the US dollar becomes uh, bearish, right? So I'm going to show you that when we move on to the DXY chart. So moving on real quick, we're going to talk about US 30. This was also requested by our community members. So US 30, also known as the Dow Jones. Yeah, so if you take a look at this price movement here, this price action, this looks like a broadening wedge with one two three so we had three bearish reversal which makes this trend line a valid one and we had two retests so two bullish reversals from this trend line so 
this trend line is as valid as it can be but overall this is still in a bearish trend because if you take a look we have one two three lower highs and this high is turning into a resistance level with price finding it difficult to break through right so the logical thing to do trading in line with this trend would be waiting for price to slowly creep into this area of value and then we look for an opportunity to go short if we get a candlestick reversal pattern or we get a very good bearish reversal that breaks the market structure leading to this price movement so i'm going to go down to a lower time from the show i'm talking about right so this would be a very good you know opportunity to go short at this area of value or you could go long when we break above this resistance level with a retest or a consolidation so this is two ways to play out this trade on us 30 right going short at these price levels or going long when we break this resistance level so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame to show you what i can see down there to spot out good trade opportunities for the day traders out there so remember we want to see price coming to this level before we go short but there is a way we can also get a good trade you know following price to those uh, that resistance level so i'm going to go down to the one hour time frame so this is the one hour time frame right right now so price seems to be bullish on this one hour time frame price creating higher highs and higher lows and now we are having some sort of a symmetrical triangle with a bullish breakout so on monday or this week i'm going to watch out for something like this so maybe a little consolidation and a bullish breakout from that consolidation to go long and my target is going to be anywhere within this um resistance level where i'm going to look for an opportunity to go short in line with the bearish trend on the one day time frame so i guess you see what i'm talking about i talked about this in our uh video last week when we talked about um, understanding uh, multiple time frame analysis so how to carry multiple time frame analysis i'm going to link that video to this video um so you can take a look and you know learn something new so on the one hour time frame this is a good opportunity to go long but you have to go in with minimal risk right because my stop loss is going to be below this consolidation where i take profit is going to be around this resistance level but i'm going to look for opportunity to go short or look for opportunities to go long if we break above the um, resistance level so for now it's you know simply looking for opportunity to go long here yeah, because this is clearly a symmetrical triangle gearing up for a good bullish breakout so i'm going to wait for price to take out these highs before i go long aiming for this resistance level i'm going to look for an opportunity to go short in line with the bearish trend on the daily time frame and that's what we have here right so this i'm going to trade um um us 30 that's the jones so something else to pay attention to is that you can also adjust this trend line. So i'm going to show you something interesting right now so I'm going to get rid of this first so get rid of this and get rid of this so if you adjust this trend line you know um to these highs here you can see we would have three price rejections so we have one we have two and we have three and this trend line is going to align perfectly with the area of value if indeed price goes into this level which would be enough confidence for you to go short if we indeed get a bearish reversal meanwhile on the daily yeah on the daily time frame the ROS side down here hasn't gotten into the overbought level yet which means there's still room for this trade to you know run into these levels which is why we saw that bullish trade opportunity on the one hour time frame right so you can see how different time frame links up together so that's it briefly for us 30 moving on we're going to talk about usd jpy so this is something i talked about last week but my expectations haven't played out yet so still on my you know bearish bias i'm going to wait for price to consolidate on this level so i'm going to wait for more consolidation at this price level and then a bearish breakout from that consolidation to go short so this is what i'm watching out for for usd jpy there's nothing much to say here it's just plain because this looks like a bearish continuation pattern right so the reason why i'm going bearish is because you can see um excuse me so zooming out we had a massive bullish move here which uh we can see on the screen here with price creating series of higher highs and higher lows and over here you can see the trend reversal price creating lower highs and lower lows 
So right now, the most logical uh, trade decision to take with USDJP is looking for an opportunity to go short, which would be waiting for price to break through this level because there is just a ton of space here for price to fill up. So a ton of gap here for the price to fill before we maybe eventually return to the upside or just keep falling down. So this is going to be my outlook briefly for USDJPY. I'm not going long on this. Only if we get a bearish breakout, that's when I'm going to consider going short on USDJPY. And that would be waiting for price to take out this trend line and taking out this low. So this taking out this low and taking out this low. That would be my opportunity to go short on USDJPY. So as the trade evolves, as the price action evolves, I'm going to share more updates on this on our Discord. So if you're not on Discord, join us on Discord with the link in the description below. It's free. And lastly, I'm going to take a brief look at the DXY. So this is dollar strength index. It's not tradable. We only use it as an indicator to understand what's happening with the dollar if the dollar is being bullish or bearish. So what we can see right now is that price is currently around a significant area of value where we had multiple price bounce. So we have one, two, and currently we are the third uh, price bouncing off this support level. Right. So if price bounces off this support level indeed, it means the US dollar will be strong, which means there's a good chance we get bearish price movement on gold, GBBUSD, AUDUSD, and AUDUSD. Meanwhile, we're going to get bullish price movement on USDJPY. And that's if, you know, the dollar tends to gain strength. But if we just consolidate around this support level and then get a bearish breakout, then this means gold is going to go higher, right? Gold is going to be bullish. And GBBUSD, AUDUSD, AUDUSD is going to also go, you know, bullish, right? Because they are negative correlated with the dollar. Then USDJPY... Um, um, USDCAD and USDCHF, they are going to go in the same direction with the dollar because they are positively correlated with the US dollar. So that's it briefly for this week's analysis. If you love the content, please like, subscribe and check out our Forex trading course on Udemy. You're going to learn a lot. Believe me, you're going to learn a lot. So I've attached the link to the course in the description below. Let us know what you think. If you're interested in you know, getting more free content, Follow us on Instagram. We put out lots of daily content for free. Follow us on Discord to engage with our community. That's it from me, guys. See you next week.